The presentation you are about to see is of the Percy Granger Home and Studio in White Plains, New York. This house is a lovely example of four square architecture built around the turn of the century, and it was built in a gracious neighborhood for a growing family and modified by the Grangers as the years went on. Percy moved in with his mother Rose in 1921, and they brought their shipment from London and started to store things. Percy added a fireproof room to the front of the basement in the 1930s and added another fireproof room as he ran out of space in the first one. There was an additional storage room added in the basement. He also needed more light as he worked on his free music machines in the 1950s, and so he took out the fireplace in the living room and replaced it with a large window. The modifications that he made really facilitated his use of the house as a workspace and really supported his work and his efforts for the rest of his life. I hope you enjoy this presentation. This is a wonderful house and we have many visitors per year. I hope you can join us. It's a beautiful summer day here in White Plains, New York, and I'm standing at the door of the Percy Granger Home and Studio. This is the home where Percy and his mother moved in 1921. Percy spent the rest of his life here. I can't wait to show you what it looks like inside. I'm standing in the central hall of the Granger House, and this is the place where most docents start their tour. In front of me here, I have the guest book that was started in the 1970s. The first name in the guest book is Burnett Cross. He, of course, helped Percy with the free music machines and was around for many years. You can also see Ronald Stevenson's signature, Ronald Stevenson visited for Ella's 90th birthday. And you can see he signed in. And in the comments section, he wrote, happy birthday. Next to the guest book is a lamp that came over in the shipment, one of Rose's lamps. These lamps are very fragile these days because they, they're silk, but Rose liked things to be fancy, so uh, her lamps are still in, in place. I'm standing in the music room at the Percy Granger house. This is very much a workspace, and there were always at least two pianos and a harmonium in this room during his entire time here. Uh, he loved the harmonium, he loved to compose on it. You may recognize this harmonium, it, we had this uh, re refurbished in 2019, and thank you all who contributed to the fundraiser that, that we held to, so that we could uh, refurbish this. It's an Adler Reed organ, and of course you have to keep pedaling or it stops making music. Behind me is a Steck piano that came from Pevensey Bay. It was built in Germany. It has 85 keys, and it's always fun to watch if someone is playing and they think it's 88 keys and they run out of keys. And you see on top of the piano, there's portraits, there's Ada Crosby at the, at the end, and then there's a note from Nellie Melba, and of course, Frederick Delius. Again, Percy was always keeping himself surrounded by things that inspired him and, and kept him motivated to, to take the next step. The kitchen is really very original in the Granger house. As you can see, this has an iron stove from when the house was built. The Grangers always collected things. There are many, many things around. We'd love for people to check the, uh, the history and, and uh, how they actually uh, arrived in the house. In 1921, when the Grangers moved in, they got the stove. We found the operating manual to the stove the other day. And um, we have pictures of Percy working on the free music machine in front of the stove. The, the Grangers were always very uh, organized. And so at the time, this was a beautiful neighborhood, and Percy came up with a little system to say the Grangers are home, or the Grangers are out, or Mr. Asker, who was their, their houseman, is out, or he's home. So you could tell there's no reason to come up the stairs if, uh, if Fred Asker was not home. It's always interesting to look through the Grangers' books. Many books went to Australia, but many books stayed here. And so here's just a couple of books from the, from the uh, dining room cabinet. Crude Black Molasses by Cyril Scott. 
uh, there, in, in the letters, there's references to um, Cyril Scott suggesting that as Percy got sicker in the early 1950s, that he should treat himself with black molasses. And here's, the, uh, the, here's Cyril Scott's ideas about how to uh, medically use the, the molasses. This is a wonderful little case. This is a cigarette case. Uh, must have been a tribute gift of some sort. We, we really need people to, to help us trace down the, uh, the origin of some of these gifts. It has Percy's initial on, on it. Of course, Percy didn't smoke, but Ella might have, and she particularly might have when she was around her daughter Elsie, because Elsie was known to be quite a smoker. So here's a cigarette case with the cigarettes still in it. This is the dining room of the Granger house, and it was badly damaged on several occasions, once with a tree falling on the house and another time with a plumbing leak. We just got a $5,000 grant to repair the ceiling and the walls from the William J. Pomeroy Foundation, which we're extremely pleased about, and we will be able to restore this room beautifully with that grant. I'm standing in the sitting room of the Granger house, the largest room in the house, and we've been able to uh, make wonderful use of this room. We have a tile exhibit set up now, and the space allows for exhibits. Behind me is a picture of Percy Granger wearing his famous toweling clothing, and the towels that the clothes, clothing was made out of. To the left is Ella's kiln where she made decorative tiles. She started with a blank tile and then she would paint typically a portrait on the tile. And you can see a, a, a tile group where she constructed 12 tiles together, fired them separately, and then put them into uh, one work. The picture behind me is done by Carl Einer Fredrickson of Ella. It's a, it's a beautiful portrait done in 1929. Two pictures behind me are of Ella painting here in this very spot in the living room and Percy and Ella in the backyard. This is a radio that the Grangers had from the 1930s. You'll see technology through the house. Percy was very big on using technology from the cylinder recordings he did of folk songs in northern England to having the latest technology of all times so to, to help with his work. We'd love to know more about this. This hung over the fireplace when the Grangers uh, lived here. We don't know very much about it. It's ob obviously something that interested Percy and uh, he collected. We try to keep a copy of every book about Granger in the house. And then we have these, these Chinese bells, which apparently were belong to Ella.